These three hacks are gonna help you stop speaking to broke leads because at the end of the day, as a high ticket coach, what you wanna do is to be able to attract people who are ready to buy, ready to take action, ready to move forward with your services. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk you through three different things you can implement in your marketing, in your content, in the things that you're doing that will truly be able to attract the type of people who are ready to go. So let's begin with hack number one. And it all starts with adding another layer to your niche. A lot of people are afraid of niching down too much because they think that if they do that, they end up leaving people behind. When the truth is that when you're really able to niche down even more, it means that you're able to speak to people that will pay more attention to your content because they will recognize that what you're saying is something that literally is speaking to them, their problems, their circumstances, their symptoms, and most importantly, the things that they really desire. So instead of saying something like, I'm a mindset coach, you wanna go specific by saying, I am a mindset coach for female entrepreneurs over 45. So that gives it another layer of specificity that really will allow you to make those people in that audience feel like you're speaking to them. This is literally something that I see so often within my clients. I have two very specific examples. One of these is with AK, who is a wellness coach, very general kind of audience, and what we did is that we went really specific speaking to people that are first responders leading dealing with burnout so when she went really specific in that message and added that extra layer to her niche her content took off she went mega viral on TikTok and was able to really grow her business rapidly because of that another example is with my client debbie who used to be kind of like a mindset money coach in general, and now what she does is specifically she works with medical professionals in helping them bring back the spark to their careers, bringing up their money mindset, fulfillment, purpose, all of these different things. So it makes her content way more specific for that audience, allowing her to really stand out from everybody else. Another example in which you could go in that direction is that instead of saying something like, I am a health coach, which there are so many, you wanna go once again into saying, I'm a gut health expert for busy executives who need to really overcome these issues. So the more specific you are, the more that your content is actually going to be able to stand out, the more that you're going to be able to speak to your people, and the more that they're gonna recognize that what you do is for them. I feel like one of the most common objections that people have is that they think that their problem is very unique. They're like, you don't get it. You don't get it. My circumstance is unique. The problems that I have are unique. You don't understand. So when you're able to create content that really hones in on how those problems shows up for these people, the symptoms that they have, the different circumstances that they're experiencing, the more that they're going to be able to feel like this person gets me, I'm ready to invest and I'm ready to move forward. The other thing is that it really brings out competition at the end of the day. You know, it really lowers it because when you're going into that very specific niche, it allows you to stand out even more. And the last reason why niching down is really powerful is that it allows you to showcase your results in a more specific way once again. So people can look at your content, look at the results and the case studies that you bring forward. And once again, they can recognize themselves in it even more. So it really makes you seen as a true expert in that field. Hack number two, so that you can stop speaking to broke leads is that you're making sure that you speak to the people that are more solution aware. Most people are only speaking to the problem aware. So they're agitating problems. They're talking about how bad their situation is, how terrible their circumstance is. And therefore they attract people who are often in victim mentality. And what we want to do is we want to speak to the people that are more solution aware. The difference between these people, I call them the thinkers versus the doers. The thinkers are the ones that will think about a problem. They will ruminate about the problem. They will spend all day researching as much as they can, but they won't really take action. The doers are the people that are going to research about the problem, but then they're going to take action in solving that problem. So you want to make sure that you focus everything that you do in your content to speaking to the type of people who are the doers, the action takers, the ones that are more solution aware. Yes, they understand the problem, but they're actively looking for solutions for that problem that they have. And the way that you do this is by not necessarily leading with problems in everything that you do, 
but really shifting the way that you communicate. Let me show you examples of what I mean. So the thinker or the more problem aware type of person would think for themselves, I just feel like my marriage is falling apart. Whereas the solution aware person would say something like, I'm ready to do whatever it takes to keep my marriage together. The problem is the same, but the way in which we're approaching that problem and the way in which we're communicating to these people is completely different. Let me give you another example. This is one that a lot of business coaches are using and it's sort of like, are you tired of living in the feast and famine, really frustrated because you're not bringing any clients? That type of language is more problem aware language. Whereas the solution aware language would say something like, are you ready to hit consistent 20 K months to bring in more consistency and more flow in the type of people that you're bringing in so that you can keep on growing your business again, the problem might be the same, but the focus is really different. At the end of the day, your words are going to make a really big impact in the type of people that you attract. And if you're using a lot of problem aware type of language where you're just agitating that problem and not really speaking to their desire and how that problem shows up for the things that they really want, you're going to attract people who are going to really struggle with investing in your services. And that's obviously not what you want. And if you're actually attracting a lot of these people right now in your business, this is very likely a big reason why that is happening for you right now. So you want to make sure that you pay extra attention to the language that you're using to how you're communicating to your audience and really making sure that you're speaking to the people that are more solution aware versus the ones that are just problem aware. Hack number three has to do with bringing in your angle of mastery. Broke leads are going to sign up for anything that is generic, anything that is about all the claims. I'm going to help you get the amazing result in like the next 20 minutes and they're going to fall for a lot of those things. But the type of people that are really ready to invest are looking for more premium solutions. They're looking for things that feel different. They're looking for things that don't look like the last thing that they invested in. So you want to make sure that you're bringing in your angle of master, your unique point of view, your unique way of looking at the problem and the solution so that they feel like this thing that you're creating for them is something that they haven't tried before. It has a different perspective and therefore it's going to get them the solution that they are craving. That is the thing that they're really desiring at the end of the day. And so the key here is making sure that you recognize, well, what is it that makes me, my process, my brand different? What is the thing that I'm honestly selling beyond the specific offer, beyond the program, beyond, you know, the service and how many sessions that you get with you or videos or whatever, what is it that you're actually selling? What is the premise? What is that big idea? And making sure that that message is front and center in everything that you create, because that is giving your content an extra layer of sophistication. And therefore you end up attracting people who are going to be a little bit more curious and more kind of feeling like what is going on here? I really want to understand this in more detail and therefore able and looking to invest in your solution. So the more that you're able to really make sure that that message is unique and powerful, the more likely that you're going to be at attracting the type of people who are willing and looking to invest. Broke leads are definitely not going to fall for something that is too sophisticated. They're going to look for the things that are simple, fast, quick solutions, which both you and I know don't really exist at the end of the day. So let me recap the three hacks to stop attracting broke leads. Number one, you want to add another layer to your niche. Number two, you want to make sure that your content is speaking more to the solution aware people versus the problem aware people. And number three, you want to make sure that you're bringing your angle of mastery into your content and into the things that you're doing in the next video. You're going to be able to watch me talk a little bit more about what the angle of mastery is and how to implement that into your own business make sure that you also follow me everywhere at Fabi Paulini. Subscribe to this podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere else you get your podcast and just look for me anywhere else. And let me know in the comments below which of these three things stood out for you the most and which are you implementing right away. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.